mention some of the Hobbit instruments as well. The Hobbits have a very light Celtic sound. There's, there's Balrons, the frame drums back there, and Celeste, and things like that. Um, opposite of that would be perhaps the Isengard music, which is music of metal and wheels, which is violent. They used all metal percussion for Isengard, because Isengard, it, it's the industrial, part of it is the industrialization of Middle Earth, which you're describing. And uh, the, the creation of weapons of metal, uh, and in contrast to the Shire, which is everything green and good and beautiful, and so the uh, Isengard uh, music is all uh, it's disfigured. I wrote it in five four, and it has this kind of lopsided type of game to it, this three and two type of feeling. And you even see it when they sort of run. Right. Or they sort of run a little lopsided. He's Yurik fighting Yurikai. And so the rhythm, that rhythm felt right. And uh, it's a very brutal sound. It's all using this metal percussion. And there's also, uh, there's Japanese taiko drums here, and there's Tibetan gongs. And, uh, there's there's a mistreatment of a piano as well. Uh, there's uh, anvils and metal plates for Isengard. This piano is used um, in a very <laughs> percussive way. It's uh, you know, so the percussionist wraps a chain around it. He puts on a garden glove and wraps a chain and sandbags the pedals and he strikes the inside of this piano to create this really dynamic sound. So it's an amazing collection of material, you know. Were we to be here tonight without the screen, without the dialogue, we would still get every element of the story musically. It's all still represented here, which is one of the, the true wonders of this. Often in film music, it becomes a, a collection of moods. Things are happy now because you see the hero. Things are dark and dissonant now because you see the villains. But this is more, more thoughtful, more cerebral than that. There's, there's an element of keeping up with Tolkien, I suppose. Yes, well, he created this structure to it, and really you're creating something in his image. Somewhat getting ready now to head back into the world of Tolkien, I suppose. The uh, Hobbit film's coming up. Well, The Hobbit is... Uh,